Denmark project on an organization called IWSP, it's the International Society of Sustainability Professionals. And uh, basically their purpose is to get a bunch of people together, a bunch of professionals to, uh, to put their ideas together to, uh, in order to create a more sustainable society, sustainable um, ecology. So sustainability basically is in ecology how biological systems and their remain diverse and protected. So for, for example, like long living, healthy wetlands, forests, deserts, those are all examples of uh, sustainable, you know, eco uh, ecologies. For humans, like, it's the potential for long-term maintenance of the self or well-being. So it includes like the ecological, economic, political, and cultural aspects. So it's it's basically diversity in like pretty much life and how how you want it to continue to be productive. Um, it began in uh, 2007. They started talking about the idea in 2006, and towards it towards the end of 2006, people started gathering like boards and uh, to uh, create the website and. It was based off of the Zero Waste Alliance. That's where they first got their idea. And that just encouraged, the Zero Waste Alliance was to encourage the redesign of resources, uh, the resource life cycles. So like, instead of, you know, just putting waste in landfills and, and, and uh, just putting waste in landfills and like burning it up so they'll create more CO2. They wanted to create like a system for for the waste so that we can always recycle and reuse them like pretty much forever. Um, it's a web-based organization, so people from around the country, they all get on the internet and they get on get on this uh, website and they, they share their share ideas, they do a lot of research. They're all professionals, so they, they a lot of them, they work for or um, focus on specific areas of sustainability, so when they come across something that's different, they might incorporate some different ideas to help create a, a better method or system for a more sustainable uh, ecology. And it improves, the purpose is to improve the skill of the professionals through education, knowledge, sharing, and research. And as of now, they have members from five different continents, so they're all around the world, and they basically take these ideas from people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and they take their ideas, put them together to make something to make something bigger that will help benefit for the future. And they started off with this question in, uh, in 2008, they came up with this question, what strategies can communities and municipalities in the developed world implement now to reduce greenhouse gases that can be easily retrofitted into an existing community that offer multiple benefits? So they're all about taking like small steps like at first in the beginning, they want to take small steps, get all these different minds together, because obviously hundreds and thousands of minds will work better than one. You take all these minds, put them together to create uh, multiple systems, ideas, strategies, in order to reduce the uh, greenhouse gases. And um, they also want it to be easy, so that you know people aren't they're like not going crazy about some big idea about about trying to uh, reduce CO two emission and um, so it's all easy, it's accessible to uh, pretty much anybody. Purpose for a professional to join strategies, like I said, they introduce strategies so that you know any regular person can go on the website and look at these strategies. Anybody that wants their uh, to change like their community for for the better, they always <coughs> go on and look at the tools and methods that they provide in order to you know better their society. Um, they educate you know communities, municipalities on how to make their community safer for the environment. So they give a lot of statistics, a lot of reasons for doing what they do. And um, they encourage people to strengthen sustainability. So people who aren't really all about it, uh, they can like easily just go on and research and uh, find like really small, easy ways that they can uh, use to, to make, a more, a make for a more sustainable ecology. And uh, it also provides you know, benefits for each idea that they uh, exercise. So every action that you take is not just for to uh, prevent CO2 emission, it's for uh, more than just that. And by that I mean this triple bottom line benefit thing. It's it's a, like a huge chart. There's a, a lot of different 
kind of strategies to uh, prevent CO2 emission, but it also gives the environmental, social, and economical benefits for each strategy, and they call this the synergistic benefits because obviously it's for the um, production of greenhouse gases, but it also benefits environments, uh, social, and economical aspects. The things of like a lot of different different experts that go on the site and the professionals. If you don't know where you are going, any will get you there. Basically, what they're saying is create goals and make a path so you have so you have something that you're going towards. So that if you, if you don't know where you're going, like you'll just take on any opportunity that you feel is right, and you don't have really a path to get where you want to go. You just end up where you end up. So they're saying to uh. Create a path, make make goals. You know how do you want to get better? How do you want to create a more sustainable society for the uh, for the country, really for the world? And uh, and you can do that. Just make sure you have goals and you take action to get there. Um, another thing to just use less. So use less waste because it's, it's no purpose in just using all this stuff. Because when people people will just put waste in like these landfills. They don't really understand the process of when they make the things in the first place. It takes a lot of energy, and it it like um, uses a lot of CO two gas. So people don't recognize how how hard it is or how much energy it takes to make this stuff. They just throw away. They don't realize how well you know recycling will benefit. So and also collaborate and consolidate. So reiterating. That, uh, the fact that they, it's a bunch of different minds together to uh, create all these different ideas and methods. And um, lastly, the best things often come in small packages. They're saying like all these small steps will be as of a great greater benefit in the future. It's not these small steps aren't just going to do like minor things. Like for example, waste is only according to the website, waste is only like four percent of the CO two emission in the world. But that four percent is actually a great, greater has a greater impact than we think. Just like the uh, two degree line that we that they don't want us to go above, it seems like such a small number, but it really it has you know the greater impact on society more than we could ever imagine. So that four percent of uh, waste and CO two emission that's in the uh, in the air, it's actually has a greater impact than we think. So simply recycling more will have a greater impact. S sorry, Sean. What what do you mean by waste? I'm sorry. I didn't mean. It's like um, plastic, uh, like wires from uh, different electronics, like a hair dryer. When you just throw that stuff away, they can reuse that energy. So they like when people throw them away, they don't understand how hard it is to create it. But you can actually reuse it. Just there's certain type of recycling for things like that for cords and uh, for electronic devices. So simply, you know, giving those back to the people who created it, they can reuse it and try to make, you know, a better technology to preserve the energy instead of using it all. So you're talking, you're talking about recycling then? Yeah. Recycling things, whatever it might be, just yeah. getting it back. Just, just any, reuse it. a lot of things in general. And uh, this is a short video by a lady named Barbara Van Staden. She just basically says, that gives the reason why uh, it's important to uh, take action. Is your sound plugged in?
<laughs> so basically what she talks about in the video is why it's important to you know use resources like this website and uh, all the different organizations that they have out there to uh, because the steps they're not hard they're really easy accessible for anybody so just things as simple as putting you know plastic in a recycling bin instead of the trash that, that's a big step you know towards our future and staying under that that two degree uh, line that we want to stay under. Oh, we can we we'll, we can come back to that. Maybe if you send me the link for that, I'll I'll post it on the middle page. Thanks. Sure.